Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we'll be talking about the Victorinox Super Tinker. One of uh, my, like my first full-fledged Victorinox as a Victorinox. Um, one of my favorite knives. This is one my dad currently has in his, uh, put something in the toothpick holder. Not sure what. There's usually a toothpick in there. Much like this knife. This is part of the Tinker series. I personally have and carry the Deluxe Tinker, which is a little step up from the Super Tinker. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, this is about this is a slim, pocketable, easy going Swiss Army knife. So we've got the main knife blade. We have a small knife blade. Got the scissors, good scissors, best scissors out of the multi-tools. The usual cliche can opener and bottle cap lifter on this knife. And with the half stop there. Half stop is good for uh, trying to get leverage on those flat heads. <clears throat> Excuse me. The awl. The parcel hook. Which I will say Victorinox could have uh, laid this one out a little bit better. It's right there by that that ring and it's hard to dig out. I'll, I'll say that about that. That's like the one negative thing I'll say about this tool. We've got the parcel hook. Great tool. We have a full number two Phillips driver. We have tweezers on one side. And whatever dad put in there. Just, just picture this in that slot can't quite dig that out so we'll just we'll just leave that there but this is a good good swiss army knife if you're not into corkscrews I, I forget which model this is close to that has the corkscrew comment down below if you know um but if you're not a corkscrew person which i wasn't when i first started swiss Ar getting into swiss army knives I much preferred having this, and I could really get that leverage on this to really get on those screws. I miss those screws a lot, and that was just handy to have back then. It was slim. It went down in my pockets nicely. Um, I took this on a canoe trip I had, and it was a good little canoe trip knife. You know, it wouldn't get rusted at the end of the day. It's, it's solid. It's light. There's not much to say about it to uh, make this video more than three minutes long. We're going to throw in the Deluxe Tinker. I would show you the Tinker, but I don't own a Tinker at the moment. The Tinker just uh, removes the scissors. You have the two knife blades, can opener, bottle opener, and the Phillips driver, and the awl. No parcel hook. But that's maybe a little too few tools on a knife to me. To me, I like to have at least a pair of scissors. And a knife, because the knife can cut what the scissors can't, and the scissors can cut what the knife can't. I like to have that. Personally, I like to have pliers too. Some sort of pliers, something stronger than my fingers. And that's where the Deluxe Tinker comes in. Deluxe Tinker is a super tinker, but adds pliers. And I think if you're going, if science isn't a big concern for you, if you have cargo pants, or you like belt carrying, or you even do this little thing with the rope that dangles it in your pocket without it laying flat in your pocket, I would suggest you go with the Deluxe Tinker. But the main star of the show today is just the Super Tinker. It's just classic. It comes in a few different scale colors. Comes in at like $35, I think. Maybe $40 by now. Not sure. The last it was for me, it was like $32, so it's probably about $35. This is just a good, reliable Swiss Army knife. And like a prime version of what a Swiss Army knife can be. I think this embodies everything that is meant for what a sack is. S-A-K, Swiss Army knife. If you hear people talking about sacks online and it's spelled S-A-K, you're talking about these guys, Swiss Army knives. And it's just a fun gizmo to have. It's super handy. It's reliable. It won't fail on you. 
Like you've got to really run these, you know, put this on the end of a rope and drag it a hundred miles through the desert sand to do any damage to these guys. People, people joke about the steel not being good on these things, but that's not true. These, the steel on these is, is super awesome. It's good. It's high quality. Takes an edge, keeps an edge. Not, admittedly, not as long as Super Steel. As 30V will outplay this. But, for the average person, it's not about longevity of the knife edge as much as it is longevity of the tool in general. Maintenance, this tool being stainless, is going to keep it from rusting as much. The most you've got to do is like open up the tools... Take a little brush and clean out the pocket lint that builds up in some of these, depending on what sort of pants you carry this in. You know, it's just a reliable knife. It's non-threatening. You know, if you're at McDonald's and you got to cut your Big Mac, you're not going to scare people with this. I'm sure there's going to be the one person that freaks out. But 9 out of 10 people are going to be like, oh, Swiss Army knife, that's actually kind of cool. You know, red handles, like there's nothing more iconic than the red handles of a Victorinox. And it's just, it's just a prime Swiss Army knife. I think if you haven't had a Swiss Army knife before, I've said this about the Deluxe Tinker, but if you're wanting slim, I would suggest the Super Tinker. And if the camera will focus, thank you very much. Um, I think you wouldn't be disappointed with this. It's a very slim, pocketable knife. I know I'm kind of rehashing things here. It's good. It's almost keychain worthy. You know, it's just small enough that it's like you could have that on a keychain. Clip that to your belt or something. But if you want to amp it up a bit, the highest of the Tinker series, I don't they currently don't make any higher than this within the Tinker line. To go higher up. The line, you're going to start swapping out the Phillips driver for a corkscrew. This is the Victorinox Swiss Champ. It's like their best-selling multi-tool. I love this little guy. It is absolutely amazing, but that is a lot for someone who's wanting slim. Personally, to me, it's not a lot to have. I pocket carry it. I belt carry it. It's fine. But compare the two, which would you rather have in your pocket? You know? You know, definitely lighter. This is very light. You don't forget it's in there a lot of times. And, you know, it, it's just how Victorinoxes are. I think these are some of the best pocket knives you can have. Forget Buck. Forget, you know, Winchester. Go to Tractor Store. You get all those weird funky knives there sometimes. Forget those. Just go with a good old sack. Trusty. Reliable. Non-threatening. UK legal. It's awesome. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope you have a lovely day and until the next time, a farewell.